Hi guys, I want to chat really quick about how exactly that we are going to create citations um, when we post. Um, it is really important the way that this class is modeled that we practice our um, our educational talk to one another. We practice um, using our academic language. In my opinion, there is nothing better than doing it in person. Um, second to that would be us making sure that we are conversing and communicating and bouncing ideas off of each other every week like we would normally if we were to meet in class. So I am going to just really quickly um, show you how I would like for you to take part in some of these discussions. So for right now I'm in chapter one and I have read the chapter, I have listened to the lecture, um, I have done my 10 powerful quotes, I have printed out the um, I have printed out the graphic organizer and taken notes on that, and now I'm ready for this discussion. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in there. And it says, observe a group story time in a preschool or kindergarten classroom. Identify examples from the interaction that involve one or more of the five aspects of language knowledge. Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the activity. I'm gonna go to a story time in a preschool or a kindergarten classroom, and then I'm gonna get ready to type. And so um, I am going, this is very loose. <laughs> um, I observed in a um, preschool story time today. I noticed, ooh, um, several things that I can um, remember the book discussing. The first thing I noticed was the students X, Y, Z as mentioned in the text. And then you're going to cite the person's last name and um, the page number that you found it on. I also noticed that some students were A, B, C, and then you can also cite, hey, I saw this um, represented on page 57, okay? But you're gonna go through there and you are going to attach your learning from um, lecture or um, textbook and you're gonna say, okay, because I did those things, I now understand what's happening while I'm doing these observations or when I'm discussing, okay? So of course yours is going to be way better than this and I'm gonna post it. After I post it, I am gonna go back in and I am going to comment on some of my peers' posts. I would comment the same way, okay? Let's say that this right here now is, this is me commenting on someone else, okay? So let's say I read, um, um, this particular this particular um, comment that my peer here went to a preschool okay I can say um, what an interesting observation I saw something different in kindergarten okay I was expecting as the book discussed X, Y, Z on this page, but the class reacted in this way. Okay, what you are really doing is attaching the learning that happened in your real life situation to really concrete that learning um, and being able to back up what you see and what you think through um, research and text that we have um, been reading. This is how I want you to comment initially and also to comment with your peers. Typically, the majority of your statements needs to be backed up through research, through text, through lecture, and you are going to cite saying, hey, I, I've read my stuff. I, I know my stuff, and this is what um, I want to show you. Um, but you will see these 
discussions as you go through every single week. There's one for there. Here's another one here. And they just keep coming. But each way, each time you are going to, um, you are going to um, cite your readings. For instance, this one, select a children's trade book that focuses on English language or diverse culture. Review the book. Explain how you use this book in an early childhood classroom. Describe the learning activities. Pull from the text what um, you've learned to attach it to this, this discussion that you'll be doing that week. So that is a quick recap on um, how to um, create citations on your initial posts and other posts. I hope you found it helpful.